Hi guys, welcome back to my channel with me, Ria. Today, I'm going to teach you how to play Stay by Blackpink. Yes, a throwback song. I actually have a lot of requests to this song since a year ago. But there was a time where I kept listening to this song like on loop too many times and I got bored of it. So when people asked me to do it back then, I was like, hmm, nah, not right now. I don't feel it. I don't feel like it. I'll just send you the cards, okay? Yeah, so I was like that. But lately I've been listening to this song again and it feels nostalgic. It's like my inner bling just pops out again. So I am going to make the tutorial right now. We need to know three cards to play the intro and the first. Feel free to skip ahead if you already know the fingering position. To play A minor, take our middle finger, place it on the 2nd fret, 4th string. Next, we're going to play F chord so this finger stays here. Just take our index finger, place it on the 1st fret, 2nd string. Yeah. And then, we go to C chord. Tiny finger, place it on the 3rd fret, 1st string. Yeah, quite simple, huh? To sound like the original song, we need to put a capo and place it on the first fret like this and play along with the chords. But then in this tutorial, like any of my other tutorials, I'm not going to use capo so everybody can play, okay? In the intro, we're just going to strum each chord once in this kind of beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, like that and then we go to the first already the roses part we need to do something like that too but we have a little bit different one two three four one two three four so during c chord we also strum during the third count okay let's play starting from the intro until roses part okay because jenny's part will be different but i'll tell you later let's go one two three four one two Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, first. To come on, get in my little name, I'm a sound for a man of gold. Me and that and mom, I'm many of the dawn, I enjoy it all. On a little door, look, she not thought i No, put on a hair. I just want you to stay. And then Jenny's part. Instead of strumming it once, we're going to strum twice now and it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Let's play together with the lyrics. Chorus. We have two additional chords. The first one is D minor, so index finger, place it on the first fret, second string, middle finger on the second fret, fourth string, ring finger just below our middle finger. Last chord for this song is G chord, middle finger, place it on the second fret, first string, index finger, second fret, third string, and our ring finger, third fret, second string. The pre chorus is actually kind of simple because most of the time we're just going to strum one each chord, but later towards the end of the pre chorus, we're going to do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Strum and block. So we're going to down, 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 strum and block. We're just going to block the string using our palms to stop them from ringing, okay? I think we can play along directly, so I'm just going to play with the lyrics slowly, okay? Follow me, please. already okay got it until here if not please rewind <laughs> the strumming pattern for the chorus and the post chorus is like this down down up up down up We actually have to make sure that we can do the chord transition smoothly, you know? If we cannot do it smoothly, it's going to be complicated later because in the original song, we actually have to play it in a faster tempo, like... Like quickly, like that. So make sure 
that we can do the chord transition smoothly, okay? If we cannot do that yet, keep practicing, keep repeating over and over like that, okay? that part so mm -hmm. and then the second verse the second verse the red part we're going to repeat it like how we played the first verse rose's part this one one two three four one two three four that one yeah but then i am really bad at this part so please forgive me okay i am so sorry i'm just going to try my best anyway ah <laughs> I'll be your fire Cause you got to say I'll set you in on truth It's you There's a letter From me to you And then the pure chorus again We repeat the pure chorus And the chorus one more time And then yeah we go straight to the post chorus. In the first post chorus, during the stay with me, we just play C and then bam, like that, right? But uh, on the second post chorus, yeah, we actually have to continue, so we have to play G chord there because after the second post chorus, we have to play another post chorus as the outro. Mm, the story pattern will be the same as the chorus so yeah i'll just show you okay in a faster tempo now i am going to play starting from the second post chorus until the end of the song follow me la, 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 la. tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i really hope this tutorial can be helpful if it does please support me by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'm going to be so grateful to you wherever you are and if you want to have the lyrics and chord sheet feel free to dm me on instagram because i made it yeah to make it so much easier for learning so feel free to do that because i can send it to you there okay thank you so much for watching stay healthy and see you next time <laughs>